In this video, I'm going to share with you guys yet another use for the Chemical Guys Long Boar's Hair Brush on car wheels. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So many of you guys know if you've been following the Wilson Auto Detailing community for any sort of time that I love Meguiar's wheel brightener and I love the uh, feathered wheel brushes right here because they're soft, they don't scratch, they agitate the Meguiar's wheel brightener, the cleaner and and the uh, brake dust very well to where the brake dust comes off very easily. It doesn't scratch, but there are certain problems with wheels that sometimes you run into that brushes like this can sometimes uh, accomplish the job, but with certain things it's either it's easier to scrub something else. And so I wanna show you guys how I use this long boar's hair brush on wheels. I actually have another video on this brush of how I use it on the interior. So I'll link that up in the YouTube card right now. Definitely check out that video. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. This is the wheel that I'm dealing with right now, and this is my own vehicle. So it's actually a, a very maintenance wheel, like it doesn't get very dirty whatsoever. But you guys can see that brake dust and dirt still definitely piles up, especially on the outside here. So I'll like rub my finger across here. You guys can see that there's some obvious, obvious dirt. Now the issue comes in when you're dealing with all these nuts and bolts in here. Can this brush get in between and get in those spaces to an extent? Yes, it can. But would it be much easier just to use something like this? Yes, it absolutely would. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I do that. So it's super self-explanatory. I'm just gonna spray the Meguiar's wheel brightener diluted five to one in each one of these little uh, nuts and bolts areas. Take my brush and go ahead and agitate it in there. Now one of the reasons why I love this brush is because number one, it can be used on the interior and the exterior just fine. Number two, I've been using this brush for about a year straight aggressively like this with different cleaners, with different chemicals. Number one, the cleaners and chemicals do do not break down the bristles, and even when you use it aggressively like this, the bristles stay standing up very, very easily. And then of course, I'm just gonna take my hose and hose it off. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Meguiar's wheel brightener on the full wheel and use the feathered brush here and show you guys the finished result. So from a distance, the wheel probably looks perfect in person and in the camera, especially these places where we where we use that long boar's hair brush and uh, got in these spokes. And this is really perfected inside here. It's difficult to pick up in the camera. Let's see if I can zoom in, but it's definitely perfected. Now it's just gonna be blurry, but it's definitely perfected inside of all these. Now, here's another issue when you're detailing wheels that this long uh, boar's hair brush tends to help with. As you're going around with this uh, kind of wider, fatter, feathered brush, brush. There are places in these creases where it almost seems like the bristles just don't fit. And so if you look carefully, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but like inside here, there's still dirt right inside here. Uh, right up inside here, there's still some dirt. And you kind of see that like right there, there's still some dirt. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. And so there are places where the brake dust does not come off and the dirt does not come off. And especially on black wheels like this, it becomes very obvious if you look and you get detailed. And of course, it's all about the details. And so what I will do is very simply just take my Meguiar's wheel brightener, spray it in those specific areas, and then then I'll take my long boar's hair brush and I'll get in those crevices just like this and it uh, makes it very easy because these bristles are so long to get back there and kind of agitate anything that's left over even around these little places where this little mouth that you hook up the uh, like an air uh, an air hose to where you can pump up the tire things like that so this really allows me to get all those crevices and become very, very detailed. And of course, I am getting paid to be detailed because I'm a detailer. And then of course, I just take my hose and I hose it off just like that. And I'm left with a super clean tire. So once again, this is just one of the many, many uses that you can get with a brush like this. The bristles stand so straight up. They're so firm. Even after a whole year of using it, it's got a long handle that allows me to reach back into places. And it allows you to get so many different areas of the car, whether it be the interior or the exterior. This brush is the perfect combination because it's stiff enough to where it's gonna clean well, soft enough where it's not gonna scratch delicate areas like this. And 
and versatile enough where I can use it on the exterior, interior, no problem. It doesn't matter where I go with it. It can be used on all those things. So if you are interested in getting your hands on this brush, I will hook up an Amazon link in the description box below this video that will take you to this tool. And once again, if you use my Amazon links to buy anything, it does give me a very small commission, but it allows this channel to stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content on a daily basis just like this. And of course, I'll hook up the Meguiar's Wheel Brightener as well in case you want to try out that wheel cleaner. Definitely use my Amazon links if you want to purchase any of those things. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below. I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And of course, if you are new here, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in your auto detailing businesses. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to take my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. Once again, thank you guys so much for being so involved here. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.